Taylor, right out here. Fourth place, obviously. Tough. Swap to finish. I mean, how do you feel about the game? Yeah. I mean, man, nobody wants to be fourth. Nobody. You know, I feel like, in my mind at least, I'm like, man, I would have rather been last. But, you know, I did what I could. Um, I think that I put myself at least in the possibility of being able to be on the 10 team if something were to happen, somebody else were to choose a different event. Um, but really, just today, it was kind of, it was a tough day. You know, the heat, I think it took it out of a lot of people, a lot of prime contenders, and, you know, I was no different. I just kind of looked together just a little bit better. Yeah, when they broke away, I mean, um, you know, I knew that if the race were, was going to pick up, that I probably couldn't go with them. With about 10 laps to go in my head, I was kind of going through, like, a scenario of if I were to stop, because um, I just really was not feeling it, but then I always play back in my head, like, okay, but what if you keep going? You know, you never know what could happen unless you keep going. Um, unfortunately, that was the decision I decided to make, and, you know, ended up fourth, so. Better than, better than a DNF. Early in the race, there was a lot of movement in the pack. How did that affect you? Um, you know, it's really kind of funny. Women race so differently than men. Um, I would say on the dumber end of things, you know, we're kind of just all over the place, a big mess, and the guys kind of stream out nicely. Um, I think it makes it a lot more complicated. You just kind of have bodies shifting back and forth the whole entire race. Um, so clipping heels, getting cut off, um, and whatnot. But, you know, I feel like most women are used to it and just kind of adjust accordingly. So how did the heat feel in the Awful. I mean, I don't know how the guys did it yesterday. I mean, they had a good 10 degrees hotter, and, you know, we were probably, what, 73 or something like that? And, oh, it, was, it was pretty brutal. I've never taken water in a track race, and I didn't feel like there was any other option but to take it, so. Had you prepared for ball training at all, or do you consider yourself going to the Um, You know, after running LA, where I was sixth, um, it was obviously very warm there. Um, and then being fourth here, I wouldn't say that I'm exceptional at it, but I also wouldn't say that it completely destroys me. Um, I think I can handle it to a degree um, and just, you know, hold on for at least a mediocre performance. Um, it's been, you know, a long stretch for you with the marathon being sixth and now you're fourth here. Sure. Working, my, working my way down. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so. The five is next week. Are you going to do the class? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I really have an option now, you know. I don't want to wait around and see if, like, somebody decides not to do the 10 and does a 5 instead. Um, I want to give myself the best chance possible to make a team. You know, the 5, I think it's a much harder go, but, you know, I don't see any reason why if I threw out an awesome performance that I couldn't make it. So, give it a shot. What do you do between now and Um, lots of really hard workouts. Um, no, I, we're just going to take it easy, you know, easy runs, um, make sure that I get some rehab and get everything worked on that I need worked on. My body feels fine now, but you never know a day or two down the road, so just kind of wait and see how I feel, but I should be good to go. Yeah, is it hard emotionally to rebound from, you know, being fourth today to then coming back and really refocus and try to make the team I mean, honestly, it's easier than the marathon was. The marathon was, it was really hard for me to, like, get into track mode because I was just like, man... I really, really wanted to be in Rio for the marathon. Um, and that was a really, really tough mental like bounce back. Um, but we sent a fantastic team. I don't think it could be any better. Um, so now with track, I think it's a little bit easier transition. I'm still in like that track goal. Same goal, different event. You know, I'm working my way down. What do you consider your best event? Uh, best, best event? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't. Watch. I mean, I think that I'm okay at everything, not great at anything yet. So, just kind of gonna keep keep rolling away and see what pops up as something that I'm actually great at. You know, keep keeping away. So your teammate Scott was fourth last night. Right. Um, we were both lane one too. Yeah. So, what did you say to him? What do you think he said? Um, I actually didn't see him after last night. We weren't yeah. allowed to come and watch the race, so yeah. I. Uh, I just watched from the computer. Um, but, you know, I thought he ran a great race, and he's so young. It was just an exceptional year for him, and I think it's a really good start for him. Um, you know, I don't I don't know. Everybody's going to probably be like, oh, awesome job. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm never satisfied. Top three was a goal. Fourth is not top three. 
so I'm obviously very disappointed, but I just know that I put everything in that I could, and I don't think there was anything different that I could do. So.